What's up everybody, Trobbing Gaming here. So E3 2014 is coming closer and closer by the weeks um, and I thought it would be cool to do maybe some kind of updates videos, uh, you know, more often where I would pretty much talk about, you know, all the news and rumors that we're hearing right now because uh, Pretty much every week we're hearing new stuff about it and some rumored games that are going to be shown there. Um, so I think, you know, that's something I'll do more often now in the weeks leading up to the event in June. So, so I've got three topics to talk about in today's video and the first one is about Guerrilla Games and how they will be showing off their new IP at E3, supposedly, because that's what uh, Industry Insider t duck said. Now this is always kind of iffy because it's some kind of, you know, quote unquote Industry Insider uh, and this guy has said that, yeah, they will be showing off, you know, their new game at E3 um, but I think you know he can he is a pretty reliable source because he was also the, the person who uh, kind of like revealed a lot of the big features coming in PS4 patch 1.17 prior to it even being announced um, and and like he nailed the release date I believe so I think you know he's, he's sure either he works at Sony or he's got some good you know sources there or whatever um, I think it's reliable and I mean this all falls in line with my you know the thing I've been saying for so long now is that Sony really needs to show off a lot of their games at this year's E3. I mean, sure, we know of a few games that are going to be, you know, coming exclusively to the PlayStation 4 in the next year or so, like Uncharted 4 and The Order 1886, but that's about it, right? I mean, we still don't know what Media Molecule is up to, or Sony Santa Monica, or, you know, like like he said, Guerrilla Games' new IP. I mean, these are, these are all big projects that still need to be revealed for the PlayStation 4, and I'm like, these studios have been working on those for like two to three years now already. Like, aren't they ready to show them off? Um, so yeah, I mean, Guerrilla Games new IP, I'm sure it will be shown off. That's definitely, you know, that contributes to the whole thing I've, I've said with Sony really needed, needing, uh, you know, to show off more games at this year's E3. Um, and I mean, am I excited for Guerrilla Games new IP? For sure. I mean, I've always been a big fan of the studio, uh, partially because, of course, they're a Dutch studio. So, um, you know, they, they are located in the same country I, I come from, of course. So that's all always a cool thing um, but I mean the Killzone games I've never really been too excited about them I thought I've always thought that those games were great um, but never of the level of like uh, you know amazing or awesome you know a 9 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10 they've never been that um, and I think you know they, they should have the talent to make a, a game like that so I am excited to see what their new IP is I, I hope it won't be a shooter to be honest I hope it will be something completely different but um, yeah I mean for, for that we'll have to wait and see now the second story comes from the same t Dux who has also said that Uncharted 4 will be shown and this was actually uh, even said by somebody from Sony last week. Uh, John Collar from PlayStation was interviewed and when asked about Uncharted 4 he literally said quote unquote that may be an interesting thing to tune in for at E3. So you know it, it all just indicates that Uncharted 4 will be shown at E3 and I know that so many people are like but Naughty Dog is in this really bad situation and Uncharted 4 will be delayed and blah 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 you know because of all the layoffs and all the uh, you know creative director leaving and the, and the game director but I mean the fact doesn't change that they've been working on this game for three years now since Uncharted 3 they've been working on that with their you know with their second team that's just that's a given um, and I think that you know, the game will still be coming out in 2015. Yes, I, I did hope initially it would be coming out in 2014 when it was announced. You know, I'm sure that won't happen. I'm sure it will be pushed to 2015. But that may have already been the plan beforehand. And I think that they're still ready to show it off at this year's E3 because they, they've got enough ready. And there's so many people working on the game that I am sure we'll see it there. And that's just a very exciting thing, right? I mean, I can't wait for Uncharted 4. I'm sure that's, you know, that's the game Sony will end off that press conference with. And it's going to be literally insane for sure. Uh, the last story I want to talk about is Nintendo and they made an announcement that Nintendo won't be having a press conference at E3 and I mean stuff like this just blows my mind to be honest. See here's the thing, I'm not really a big Nintendo fan anymore but I used to be. I was a big fan of their handhelds, you know the Game Boy and the Nintendo DS. I've had some great memories with those systems when I was uh, pretty young right. Um, but, you know, with the Wii, they kind of, like, lost me and many other gamers. And with the Wii U, they just simply didn't manage to bring me back. But I've always been interested in the system. I've always thought, you know, maybe I should get a Wii U. Because there are some, you know, some very interesting games coming out for it. Like uh, the Mario games, or, or actually Mario Kart that's coming up, is going to be insane. Super Smash Brothers. Um, you know, say a new Zelda that I'm sure they will announce at E3. Um, 
and with that I am just like they need to have a press conference they need to be on the big stage where everybody will follow them because at E3 everybody will be watching you know it's not just Sony fans only watching the PlayStation press conference and Microsoft watching the uh, you know uh, or Xbox fans watching the Microsoft press conference no everybody gets up to date on pretty much everything you know all the big press conferences will be watched by almost anyone and I think that's really what Nintendo is doing wrong here by just because they said that they were they will be having this like online live event kind of like thing you know live stream it's just something that not a lot of people will be watching and the people that will be watching it are already the Nintendo fans who maybe already own a Wii U and I'm like they need to get the audience who don't have a Wii U yet right and the only way to do that is by having this big Nintendo press conferences showing off new games a prize cut for the Wii, Wii U and everybody in the crowd will be cheering for them and you know it will give them some positive like positive response and everybody will be excited and stuff like I just don't get why they decide not to do anything I get that they might think that um, you know they just don't have enough to show or something like that but you need to be confident about your product and you need to show the people why they need to buy a Wii U and not just you know show the fans the like a few million people who already own a Wii U uh, that you have more games coming out for it because you know that's not what you want the Wii U is just doing poorly they need this and um, yeah I mean this is just some very disappointing news in my eyes I'm, I, I, it really makes me sad to be quite honest like I don't get it I just don't get why um, how they can be this stupid and of course I shouldn't be making the decisions for Nintendo I'm sure they've got some good reasons for you know for that decision but in the end I'm just not very happy with it so um, yeah that was pretty much the E3 update for today so of course let me know all your thoughts on um, if you're excited for Guerrilla Games new IP if you think Uncharted 4 will be shown but I to be honest I just think it's pretty much a, a fact like don't worry about that and what do you think about Nintendo not having an E3 press conference just let me know that in the comments and for now I would like to thank you a lot for watching and I hope to see you again next time.